arguing whether or not medical marijuana is a good thing or not. It's a completely legal question of what does the wording of this amendment say? Right. What will it do if it's passed? Is the um, is the wording constitutional? You know, those kind of things. I mean, they're, they're dealing with very benign, very boring legal issues. But at the heart of it, it is, you know, will we have medical marijuana right. in the state of Florida? And, um, you know, one of the descriptions that they are concerned with is, that, of course, the, the summary that goes in the ballot can only be 75 words. And is the summary going to lead people to believe one thing when, in fact, the law does something completely different? These are the kind of things they're trying to do. And, of course, of course, John Morgan was there. Was, you know, if there's a TV camera within a quarter mile, you will find John Morgan. So, but he, he was there. He made the very good point. He goes, the legislature's had a chance to craft this exactly how they want it. And they passed on it, and they passed on it, and they passed on it. And now you have the people writing it themselves. And you're going to say, whoa, 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 you can't write your own laws because you don't know what you're doing. Well, then do your job and write it yourself. Right, right. You know? So he had a good point there. Which, the man who was the White House. Um, the shooting. Yeah, she should work. What am I doing? Oh, my. <laughs> I'm writing right. a letter. <laughs> Got it. Got it. All right. I'm writing a letter. Those things cost too much to be stuck together. <laughs> I, I pay for the good ones so that don't happen. Okay. How have you been feeling? You say you haven't been back up to Michigan in a while. How have you been feeling? Right. Uh, well, I'm sort of going downhill. I've um, not been feeling as good. I'm not thriving like I was before when I was um, fortunate enough to have the cannabis oil. But... Um, I, I, I've not been able to go back to Michigan. Unfortunately, we, we spent $15,000 and made two trips up there to get the oil, and um, I'm broke now. And, you know, I'm out of time. Patients are just out of time in Florida, and, you know, we need it now here. When you see this back and forth, and it's, it's kind of devolved into a very boring legal question at this point, we're not even, we're beyond almost discussing is medical marijuana a good idea? Will it help people? We're almost just now to the point of, is this written in a way that it's going to pass the ballot, it's going to be put on the ballot, it's going to meet constitutional muster? And it seems like all this legal wrangling is coming at a time when people like yourself are sitting there saying, just, just get it done. Right, exactly. Because, I mean, you know, we need, we need the medicine now. You know, I was told 20 months ago that I was terminally ill. That I was too far gone for chemo, radiation, or surgery, you know, and that they could only give me palliative care. And the palliative care that they offer me, you know, makes me um, high, you know, and it makes me unable to function and care for my, um, I have a handicapped adult son that I have to care for. And I just simply find that very difficult to do on the narcotics that they give me. You mentioned you're running out of time, and I mean, your story is probably the same as anybody else that's, that's going through your same situation across this state. And not just people like yourself, but other people who five, six years from now are going to start down that same road. Absolutely. And, you know, I hear a lot of the arguments of uh, people saying, you know, so, uh, people are going to get it for a headache. Well, you know, if people have a headache and they prefer to take a natural God-given medicine as opposed to Tylenol, then that should that don't be a problem. You know, I really feel like God got it right. I feel like God knew what he was doing. You know, they've synthesized THC and CBDs, and they have put this in Dronabinol or Marinol and, you know, and selling it now pharmaceutically and making all this money off of it when I feel like God had it right to start with. When you think about the fact that this is the crux of our stories, of course, the, the overwhelming majority of these emails that they had gotten sent to the uh, Attorney General's office telling her to back off from this and telling her and, and voicing support for this, do you think it's gotten to the point now where between polls that are conducted, the fact that this petition has well over a million signatures, and these emails, the people of Florida have pretty much made their voice clear. I think they've spoken. You know, I mean, it's very clear, you know, and as you said, all the polls, all the polls say that Florida is ready. You know, it's time. It's time to um, 
uh, take our, our the patient's rights back, you know, and, and put our care in our hands. And, um, and of course, you know, with our doctor's um, blessings. But, um, you know, this is just something that, that really needs to be done, and it needs to be done now. That's it. I told you I'd be quick with you today. Okay. Hold on, though. Okay, we're going to grab some federal. Yep.